Hey, hey, E-News fam. The management at Bingo National Stadium in Lilongwe has made a U-turn, revoking its earlier permission for enlightened Christian gathering church leader, self-proclaimed Prophet Shepherd Bashiri to host his popular annual crossover at the National Stadium of Malawi. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News in Zansi. Now, if you're new to this channel, you know you love the stories, go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. So Bushiri has applied to use the 41,000-seater stadium to host his glitzy annual crossover service on December 31. The gatherings, previously held at the 90,000-seater F&B Stadium in Johannesburg, attract followers from across South Africa, the African continent, and from different parts of the world. Now, the Bingo National Stadium management, in a written response widely circulated on social media, told Bushiri's spokesperson that the stadium would no longer host the much-publicized event as it may attract large crowds in breach of COVID-19 preventative measures. Now, the stadium management also said the facility will also be undergoing maintenance in preparation for the Confederations of African Football inspection, which will happen in early January. Now, at the time of CAF inspection, management may not have enough time to restore the stadium to its normal status due to anticipated damages and losses during your function, said the stadium management in the letter signed by acting stadium manager A. Mwangulu. It takes a long time for such damages or losses to be repaired or recovered respectively as seen from past experiences. Now on Sunday, Bushiri spokesperson Ephraim, Ephraim Nyondo rather, told African News Agency that the, after the sudden cancellation, the ECG leadership was now in serious discussions mapping a way forward on hosting of the event. Now we may not have known what led to the U-turn, but as a compliant church led by Prophet Shepherd Bushiri who believes in compliancy, we can only confirm the cancellation of the bookings. Our leaders are currently in talks trying to find a way forward, said Nyondo. Now, Nyondo also confirmed that the international visitors, including from South Africa, where Bushiri commands considerable following, were expected to attend the December 31 event. Our church operates in 47 countries across all six continents. In all previous crossovers, members from all these countries always turned up. We're also expecting members from these countries to turn up, not just South Africa, he said. Now, regarding the widespread media reports that the ECG Church was charging members of the public to meet Bushiri, Nyonda said the reports were fake. The word of God at ECG was free, is free, and will always be free. You are free to visit our church and find out for yourself, he insisted. Now, the South African government has made a formal request for the government of Malawi for the extradition of Bushiri and his wife Mary. The couple fled South Africa after being released on bail early last month. Now, the self-proclaimed prophet and prophetess are facing charges of theft, money laundering and fraud relating to an investment scheme. Different warrants of arrest have been issued by South African courts. Now, in news fam, all these different stories around Bushiri and the controversial ECG. One minute members need to pay 7,000 rand to see Bushiri. Then there is Malawi law enforcement. One minute warrant of arrests are ready. The next they still need to be signed. So what is what? All I know is there is a lot of accusations and charges Bushiri is facing. But it seems the self-proclaimed prophet is confidently living nice and unbothered back in his home country. Must be nice being Papa perhaps. Now do leave your thoughts on the comment section below. I love to hear from you. But for now, you know, I will bring you the updates. Hot.